routine i'm showing you all how i maintain my face my gut skin my nails my toes so yeah to see how i do all of this let's just get into the video As you all know, I am natural and I mostly wear my hair in an afro. So maintaining my hair isn't really hard for me to do. But for today, I did want to show you all what I do from when I'm going from one style to the next. I'm just going to go ahead and cut off, you know, the excess little braid. Cause my hair not this long, even though I wish. Just going to go ahead and cut off the excess. And as you all see, I have a lot of build up. I'm super excited to wash it because it was a little scratchy scratch, you know. So I'm just going to take the rubber bands off, detangle my hair, and I am going to wash my hair off a of camera. Camera, but don't worry I do have a full start to finish video on how to achieve this afro so if this is going a little bit too fast for you yeah click the link in the cards get into it after I washed my hair I did go ahead and blow dry it and I put a lot of grease on my scalp because as y'all know the afro really pop on extremely oily hair so I did grease my scalp really good and you also can apply oil sheen before you take your braids down I think I did all that off camera but yeah I'm just letting y'all know so your afro don't be out here looking all dry you know so now that I'm done taking all of my plastic down I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all everything and now I'm going to take my pick I like the plastic pick because I feel like it could glide through the hair easier so I like to start in the back. I like to pick everything out. Basically, I have it just laying flat on my skin, on my head, and I pull it straight out. I don't like to pull it down, pull it to the side, none of that. Pull it straight out from where the hair lives. So everything could be round, so it could be just a dome on your head. And I'm just going to continue doing these steps that I told you all. So when I'm right here on the side of my head, as you all see, I'm sticking it right there, pulling it straight out for where the hair is actually coming from your scalp. I'm not pulling it out, but pulling it over to the side. No, to get a perfectly round afro just pull the hair straight out from where it actually comes out of your follicle and then i'm gonna go in and pat 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 and oh i missed a step if y'all at home doing afro please be sure to at this point spray some more oil sheen all the way around your head before you get to doing all these before you take your braids down apply oil sheen after you get the pick in your hair apply oil sheen then get the patent so the afro can very much be giving me afro sheen commercial that's what it's giving so yes, I'm just going to continue to pat, pat, pat. And I put a little bit of water up on my hands to shrivel up the ends of my hair. So I don't have any loose little pieces. I don't want to see through afro when I want to do it. So yeah, I'm just patting it, patting it, patting it, patting it, patting it until I get the shape that I want. And that is basically how I maintain my afro. <laughs> Alright, I know you all may not believe me, but maintaining your gut is easier than you may think. Bellway has made a simple, simple way for you to maintain your gut. This is sponsored by the way, but my opinion is not. Okay, they know that my opinion is not sponsored. They sent me over the watermelon and the strawberry lemonade flavor, and I must tell you, it is extremely delicious. But before we get into that, I'm gonna just tell you all why you really need this. If you've ever gotten a breakout after eating junk food or sweets, then you know that what you put in your body can affect your skin. Bellway Beauty Supplements are made with fiber and collagen to improve your skin from the inside. Fiber detoxifies your system to prevent breakouts and improve the way your body absorbs nutrients that support your skin, hair, and nails. It also helps you to stay full longer so you don't crave those unhealthy snacks that can wreak havoc on your skin. Collagen and hyaluronic acid increase skin elasticity decrease wrinkles and hydrate and protect the skin. Bellway Beauty is an organic, all-natural, keto, paleo-friendly, and gluten-free fiber supplement. It's made with organic psyllium husk, bovin collagen, hyaluronic acid, and real fruit. It contains non-GMO ingredients and zero sugar. Bellway Beauty is safe to drink every day, one to three times a day. Just mix it with water or blend and drink immediately. Because with the fiber, what it does is it takes all of those loose things that you do have in your gut and it pushes them out and as you all can see this is my actual stomach this isn't me flexing this ain't me doing none of that this is because of bellway this is because i'm regular and don't get it confused with laxatives and things like that that can really disrupt your stomach and just have you cramped up in the bathroom bellway does not do this this is natural this is fiber this isn't forcing anything out of you this is just helping it along the way as this move there good it's like okay come on come with me come with me the exit is this way why are you sitting here let's move along <laughs> this is the watermelon flavor and this is the strawberry lemonade flavor i love both of these and i'm not just saying that because it is sponsored i genuinely love this i feel like everybody needs to take this because not only are you getting fiber but you're getting collagen not only is your gut happy and healthy but your hair your skin your nails everything is happy and healthy you shining from the inside 
to the outside. That shine, that glow that I got in my skin is coming from within, seriously. I think about it, the summertime is coming up, right? You in the gym, you're doing this, you're doing that. This right here can kickstart your healthy life because a lot of people have so many toxic and waste just inside of them, inside of their gut. That's why you feel feeling sluggish and lazy and just, oh, bloated, right? But with this, trust me, once things get the moving, you are gonna get the moving, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna feel lighter, you can do more, you're more happy than your skin and nails and hair is going as well yeah you're gonna feel amazing and if that isn't enough guess what you can get 20 percent off of your entire purchase if you use my code dside 20 at checkout from your first purchase and they are also available on amazon you guys so i will have the amazon link down below for you all i will have all the information actually down below for you all and let me read this to make sure i say everything right bellway is fsa or hsa eligible and they are also available up in target or sprouts just for those of you who want to actually go to the store to physically see what you're purchasing they are available in some target and sprout stores you can also go to bellway.com to get this once again thank you so much bellway for sponsoring this video and this is the things that i do to maintain my gut and yeah <laughs> let's continue All right, you guys, so before I do my pedicure, I do wanna go ahead and prepare the bath. I'm just gonna add some bath salt and you can add some tea tree oil and other things to the water if you want to. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the polish that I have on my toes. And before I put my feet into the bath to soak them, I am gonna go ahead and take the fingernail cutter just to shape my toes up a bit. Once I'm done shaping my toes, I am gonna go ahead and clean underneath my nails. And once I do this to each and every last one of my lovely toes, I am gonna go ahead and soak them for about 10 to 15 minutes just to soften up my cuticle so I can go ahead and clean that cuticle area. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my pedicure file to get rid of all the dead skin that I have on my toes. As you all see, my big toe is a little bit curved. So the side of my big toe is very much giving me crusty, crusty grandma. So I'm gonna go in with the rough side of my file just to get rid of all of that. And then once I'm done with the rough side, you know, doing this to my toes, my heels, things like that, I am gonna come in with the smoother side just to buff everything else so that my skin is smooth to the touch. I'm done with everything I am gonna go ahead and go back and get my cuticle nipper and nip my cuticles <laughs> just gonna remove my little cuticles do a little foul into my toenails to make sure that everything is the way I want it then I'm gonna apply a clear coat and I'm gonna apply some pink toes because you know the boys love a little pink toes on the stroll you know now it's time for me to give myself a manicure and I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple. I did receive these for Christmas, so I'm like super excited to actually go ahead and use them. So first, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and get all this dead skin off my nails. I'm not really gonna go in and give an in-depth thing of what I did to my hands for the simple fact that I do have a full manicure tutorial on my page and I also just showed y'all what I did to my feet. So that's kind of the same thing I do to my hands. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know I do have little stubby, stubby fingers. So I do have to go in and do a little customization when it comes to actually getting these to really fit my nail the way it should. I just filed the sides a little bit. Then I did rough up my nail bed just to make sure that everything can stick and stay the way that it should. And I just apply it, hold it for a couple of seconds. And then I went in and refiled the sides. And then that is pretty much it. I'm gonna speed through this process because you know, ain't that much explanation needed.
Now it is time to show you all what I do to maintain my body from a day to day basis. So I do like to start off with a candle. Those of y'all who do follow me up on Snapchat and Instagram, y'all know I have a bubble bath candle slit every single night. I don't miss a night. I don't miss. So the first thing I like to do obviously is light my candles, get my bath bomb, and I do like to add just a little bit of bath salt. You know, just a little scent for me to you know something just to help me relax even more and then i'm gonna add some bubble bath and then um destiny actually bought me these nice little bath lights girl i was like okay so i had to wait to show that to you all and then i'm gonna just turn on my tea lights and i'm also gonna add a bath light just to up it up a little bit this is how you take your bath from a regular bath to a mystical pool of wonders okay and i do have an in-depth tutorial of how to achieve the mystical pool of wonders if you click the link in the cards child yeah so the first thing i like to do is like a little pre-wash right i just get my soap lather it up um i do be a little more leathery than this but i want to get my camera wet because my camera like right here y'all not worth me breaking my equipment the first thing i do is a pre-wash with just my dad antibacterial soap and then i'm going to come in and exfoliate with my exfoliation glove and i'm going to put on a little chanel chance by chanel just to give my skin the silky feel that i love and then i'm just going to exfoliate everything exfoliate my feet exfoliate my entire body with this okay once i'm done exfoliating i do like to go in and remove all of the hair from my body yeah i just shaved my legs but now i'm finna start waxing them because as y'all see i got like the little strawberry legs where you can see where the hair come out and yada 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 so yeah and then after I shave, I do like to go in and exfoliate one more time just to make sure that everything is really smooth. And now I'm going to go in with this whitening soap just to eventually get rid of these dark marks I got up on my legs from me just playing outside all day as a little child. So I'm just going to go in and put this up over my legs and put this up over my feet, those type of areas. once i'm done i am going to go ahead and rinse off and as you all see your girl looking good y'all see how silky them legs is don't even play with me And immediately after my bath, I do like to pat my body just a little bit. I do like to keep my skin damp before I apply my lotion because that really seals in all of that moisture. So I'm going to apply the Vaseline lotion. Then I'm going to come behind it with a hint of Chance by Chanel lotion. Just put this on the back of your knees and the cracks of your elbows and a little bit up on your neck. Don't put this on your entire body. This ain't that type of lotion, okay? And then I'm going to come in with some body oil just to seal everything in. And that is pretty much it. My daily oral care routine is pretty simple. I do go to the dentist every year, but this is what I do from a day-to-day -day basis just to maintain healthy teeth and healthy gums. I just like to brush my teeth not too hard. I did speed it up so it probably seemed like I'm just... Argh. But I'm not really just going through, like raking through my teeth, you know? So I just like to brush my teeth for two minutes. I do spit, rinse my toothbrush, put some more toothpaste, do it again type of situation. I like to brush my teeth. And I also like to brush like my jaws and the roof of my mouth and my tongue. And you can also get a tongue scraper. I didn't show all of that up in the video, but this is just what I do like, you know, after I eat and stuff like that. And once I'm done, I do like to go ahead and floss my teeth. You can get like the little floss picks or you can get this little brush thing. I like the brush thing because you got any meat in between your teeth when you push this through that meat is coming out so i really really like this and i think this is good for people with braces as well to really get in between your brackets and things so you guys do click down below because i'm gonna have everything linked okay and it is affiliate link i am getting a little coin off this just to let you know but you know the girl got to secure the bag don't you want me to have a little bag so i can go buy me a new bag <laughs> and i do like to finish with mouthwash and once i'm done with that i'm gonna go in with this little teeth whitening system that i have i'm on camera lying you know i'm trying to whiten my teeth up a little bit with a little at home care so i'm just going to allow this to sit for 15 minutes and then when i come back you just take this out you're going to spit in the sink and then you leave everything else still on your teeth to really work its way in mm -hmm. 
cleaning my face is pretty simple since I do go to the dermatologist now and he pretty much keeps my skin under control but this is just what I do to maintain the things that he's taught me to do so I'm gonna go in with my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and this deeply cleanses softens and nourishes it's a nourishing balm that melts away makeup daily pollutants and impurities for a soft and glowing complexion and obviously by looking at me you clearly can see that I have a soft and glowing complexion so if you don't have Elemis I think you should click down below you know just to you know and normally to rinse the cleaner off i do just use water but i don't know around my mouth and my lips was very much giving me crusty crusty so i was just trying to use this towel to get a little exfoliation in to get rid of all of that and then i'm gonna go in with this facial mask it's a sprinkles facial mask because you know they call me sprinkles <laughs> but yeah this facial mask is by be pure or uh, be pure and yeah i'm just gonna put it on me allow it to sit you know a little 15 minutes and it feel really good if you all have like cracks or anything like that on your skin don't be scared to use this one because this one did not burn me at all so you oh that feel good Discard and then massage it in. So I'm gonna just do like that. And I purposely, this is my first time washing my face, so y'all can really see. And around my mouth was very much giving me uh, eczema, so yeah, it ain't irritated or nothing. So you know, you know, I'm gonna add some of this to it. This is my Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. I'm gonna add some facial oil to it. Tell me why it ain't nothing but heartache. Oh my lips! I forgot. I have this from Lush. This was made by Wayne. Thank you, Wayne. Oh, this was made on October the 12th, 21. Girl, I thought it said use it by that day. I was gonna say Wayne. What do you mean? See, so, yeah, this is the watermelon sugar lip scrub from Lush. And guys, this is so amazing. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically just gonna take my finger, apply this to my lips, and rub, 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 and circles back and forth, up and down, everything you need to do to get all that crusty crust off for that child. Yeah, yeah, kiss! Kiss me! I ain't gonna lick it out, because it got castor oil in it. And I heard that castor oil make you bloop, bloop, bloop. It got a little pink tint to it. I like it. I'm ready to kiss. All right, with this right here, you really just probably put a little bit, but I'm a little extra, extra, really all about it. And now I'm going to go in with my Elemis Superfood Facial Oil. This facial oil is a nutrient-rich facial oil that helps feed your skin with nine antioxidant-rich superfoods to reveal a healthy-looking glow. And like I said once before, we all see the healthy glow. Yeah, get into it. And all right, y'all, that does bring us to the end of this video. Please give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It does not matter. Just engage with me and leave all your questions, comments, or concerns down below and we out of here i try i try you left my heart as cold as ice and i cry i cry wondering if you sleeping alone